Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to another project at Katinga Arts and Nature. At your house. At your house. <laughs> so today we're going to be making soapy dough. Woo! You guys will love this and you probably should have all the ingredients at your house already. The things that you'll need are flour, salt, liquid soap, food coloring if you want, and water. So let's start with two cups of flour. Here's the flour and okay. here's the two cups measuring cup. Okay, so I'm just going to put two cups of flour mm -hmm. into the bowl. Okay, one. <laughs> Two. Okay. There it is. Now we need half a cup of salt. Here's the half a cup of salt. Half a cup. Now that's what it looks like. Up. Now we need one tablespoon of liquid soap. We're looking at our ingredients here, by the way. So here's the tablespoon. Thank you. I'm gonna put liquid soap in here. I think we all have lots of soap at home. We should. And the last thing is food coloring. But a lot of times we give children the option of the color they want. So we're not gonna do the whole entire what are you doing, bowl. Melissa? Miss Melissa? So I am gonna mix this with my hands. <laughs> So we'll just mix it, get it all combined together. Ready for water? Okay, add the water. And there's not a set amount of water to add, so just start small and you'll be able to tell when you mix it. Okay. <laughs> so what does it look like now, Miss Melissa? It's still going, but we need more water. We're not quite there yet a little at a time and I made the water warm not hot so that it would burn my hands but I didn't want to put my hands in cold water I wanted it to be nice and warm you ready for just a little okay, more let's add some a more a little bit at a time right that's right I think we need a little bit on this side over okay. here to mix it all up let's show them what it looks like now okay let me mix this and then we can mm -hmm. okay Woo! Smells good. It does. A little more. Just keep adding a little at a time. Looks about right. Almost there. Maybe a little more water. We don't want it to be too sticky though. That's right. Or too wet. Like dripping mm. water. We don't want that either. Right. See, I'm going to have to stand up so that I can really get in here and mix it. Here we go. If you find that you've added too much water, you can always add a little bit of flour to it. So it might be a little sticky, but if, okay. once you start kneading it, then it might um, become less sticky. Well, let's add a little bit of water, to, I mean a little bit of flour to it. And see, okay. No more water. No <laughs> more water. But enough water. Okay. That look good. We we'll put a little more you see water. It? Not water. Flour. We keep saying to add more water. We don't want any no, more water. No more water. <laughs> Looks like a little more flour. It shouldn't be super sticky on your hands. So, mm -hmm. and that's so that you can form it and use it like you'd use play-doh. So I guess we did add a little too much water to begin with. So no more water. No more. <laughs> okay. Okay, you think that's good? This is looking good. So you guys just keep kneading Show them it. Your hands. Show them what well, it looks it like. It won't look be quite so sticky after I knead it. It won't stick to my hands like this. Mm -hmm. So after you guys keep kneading it, then it's going to turn into a really nice dough that'll be really easy to work with and and provide lots of fun for a long time. So we're going to pause it 
so we can get the dough out. Okay, Miss Melissa's cleaned her hands off. Woohoo! This and is great. Look at that. You can make all kinds of things with this. You can save it in a Ziploc bag when you're done and you can keep using it. So Miss Melissa, what color would you like? Um, I would like to have green, please. Okay. Can you make and a little How many drops do well we need to there? put? Um, I'm thinking let's start out with four. Okay. Just see how that works. Okay. So if you saw, Miss Janice will show you again what you have, how to make a little well in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. So I made a little well. And I'm going <laughs> to start out with four. And then we can always add more to it. Ooh. But if you if you keep look at that. If you keep the the food coloring kind of in the middle and then just keep mixing it, then you won't dye your hands too much in the like, beginning. Like I did. I already started dyeing my hands. I and that's okay. Waited. Yeah, that's okay if you do that because it'll wear off after a while. And sometimes, you know, it's good to put some flour on your surface. Just like when you're baking cookies or something. And that makes it so it's not as sticky while you're playing with it. And definitely make sure that you know where you can use this. Ask a parent because they may not want you to use this on your kitchen table at dinner. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> and then make sure that you put it back in the Ziploc bag when you're done. And then you can play with it again tomorrow. So we're gonna pause this and then make something really cool with it and show you what we made. <laughs> so what did you make, Miss Melissa? Well, even though it's spring, I still made a snowman. I love, he's kind of melting and tumbling, <laughs> but I think he's really cute. <laughs> I like how you put sticks in there. Thank you. Also, Miss Janice, what did you make? I'd like one of your sticks. Okay. Please. Sure. For the mouth. Okay. So I made a little frog. Cute. And that's kind of cute with the stick in it. <laughs> cute. So <laughs> today's craft was soapy dough and we hope you enjoyed it. Woohoo! <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun and we would love to see what you've created with your soapy dough. We would. And we love you guys too. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.